It's election eve, everyone. Less than 24 hours to the off-cycle election in Imo, Kogi, and Bayelsa states. And we're following developments very closely ahead the much-talked-about November 11 polls. Thanks for joining us on the program. You're watching Beyond 100 Days with Nifemi Oguntoye. You can join the conversation right now on X family Twitter using the hashtag Beyond 100 Days. Remember to tag at News NG. So residents of Imo, Kogi and Bayelsa states will this Saturday make that critical decision of who becomes the next executive governor of their respective states. Our correspondents are across the states to bring us up to speed with events and developments uh, ahead of this exercise. Let's begin from Bayelsa state where the resident electoral commissioner uh, Obonga Thenga insists that INEC is neutral and optimistic of a peaceful exercise. He expressed confidence that security agencies would live up to expectations and that the electoral body also distributed life jackets across the eight local government areas of the state. Well, I understand that um, we're turning our attention very quickly to brass area of um, Bielsa, where our correspondent Joseph Kunde is standing by. Joseph, what's the mood where you are? How are the people there uh, wrapping things up ahead of the lockdown that is expected to begin at midnight? Nifemi, I'm about um, ten, less than five kilometers away from the jetty. Five meters, rather, from the jetty. What it means is I'm trying to monitor how the people are coming into town. Uh, since I got here about um, three hours ago at the jetty, then it used to be 6,000 naira for, per person to come in through from Yanagua down to Okoma Bras. Well, as I speak to you, it is, a, is now as high as 12,000 naira. And then they're also telling me that traffic is not much here, but it is very much in Yenagua, where people are trying to come through. You'd have to spend about three hours or less on the boat, on a speedboat actually, from Braz, from Yenagua to Braz, that I'm standing here. And I can also tell you that uh, while doing that, I spoke with a number of persons. Yes, in fact, they were already carrying their PVCs without even me asking. They are flaunting it and showing me that, look, I have my own. I'm ready for tomorrow. And they are just hoping that if the tea fares, the transport fares can be reduced uh, for them to be able to come or call their friends or their, their, their cousins and all of that to be able to come down uh, for tomorrow's showdown. Interesting development where you are. It sounds like a river Rhine area. How is that affecting INEX logistics ahead of this election, Joseph? Well, the first port of call I went to when I got to Brass was to go to Tuam Brass. That was where the rack center is, and I was able to see the materials there for myself. And uh, obviously, everything I next said is not, is not far from the truth. They're all there. Uh, we saw the, the, the ad hoc staff, uh, of course, putting on their, their life jackets and all, and uh, the materials are very much available. They are all set for tomorrow. And uh, I also took my time, to, my time to talk to a few persons around in terms of the security of the area. And um, from Tuam Brass to Okoma, here that we are there has not been any any issues or any incident of call uh, of any sort at all just hold on joseph let's um, get some updates from the resident electoral commissioner in bielsa where you are we've held uh, several stakeholders meetings uh, and engagements with the various stakeholders and we have also shown we have said it and we are also shown in our conduct that we are uh, prepared to conduct a proper election and we are neutral in this election. I think that uh, has also uh, boosted the confidence of uh, the members of the public and the political class. Uh, we don't envisage that uh, there would be much of a problem, but if that happens, if we have a situation, a security situation, we expect the uh, security agencies to respond to them. And they've assured us of um, the number of personnel they have and the fact that they will cover all the areas that they have to cover to ensure that the election goes on smoothly. We've shared with them all the locations that we are going to have election activities and um, we expect that uh, they've covered those areas. So far, we are satisfied with the deployment we've seen from the uh, security services. Uh, like I said, we moved all the materials to the local government areas and they provided the uh, the, uh, the security support for us to do that and they also uh, provided security support in the locations where we moved the materials to uh, 
overnight. So I hope that this will. Thank guys, the resident electoral commissioner in Bayelsa State. Joseph, uh, INEC in Bayelsa is saying they're ready, they're neutral, uh, but they will need a very safe and secure environment to do their job tomorrow. How much of that have you seen walking around Brass? What's the security presence like? Yes, I saw the, the commanders in charge that was being that had deployed to the area here. But the most interesting part is, while en route um, Yenagua to Braz, about four different uh, locations we had to see, observe the protocols in terms of raising your hands uh, on top of the, the, the speed boats and then they check all of us and said, okay, you guys are good to go. Sometimes when they look at the person, they don't even mind checking your belongings to see if you are clean or not. So it tells you a whole lot about the security atmosphere of the area. So I can tell you for free that from that port, from, from Yenagoa down to Braz and Roots, that means you have already come through areas like Ogbia, areas like Nimbi, before you get to Braz. And I can tell you that the security on the waterways are top-notch, really top-notch. But particularly in this town, I also went around, they have um, a form of um, a local vigilante, I must say. And I'm really impressed because the guys I saw, they are all kind of walking talkies, communicating with each other. And the most important part of it is when the security agencies came around. They also met with the local vigilantes to see how they can work in synergy to ensure that uh, there will be an each exercise tomorrow. Thank you, Joseph, for the update there. We'll be back with you for more subsequently.